then to be given a chance that before the big guy like Zeb Judah, I think I I was controlling the fight. No matter I caught him, but I didn't have a finish up. Just caught me with the knife, with the knife up and down. But then, that's the fight I would like to come again if they offer me a match. He had a chance, like, I had, my, I had a chance to, to knock him out, but I didn't finish. I think he had a lot of experience. I think he used his experience against the fight. So I'd like to come again if they give me a opportunity to fight here in America. That was a very good point. Thank you very much. How much, did, how much did your trainer arriving late, did that affect you a lot leading up to the fight? No, we, we did our homework there at home, so it didn't affect me any, anyhow because we had, we had trained very hard for this fight, just one of those patches that caught me. So I didn't, even if he didn't came, I didn't have uh, any problem because I was, I'm with um, assistant trainer here, of course, we did our homework there back at home. So it was those, one, one of those patches that came. Thank you. Kaiser, rate his power versus other guys you've been in with. Pardon? Can you rate his power? No, no, it didn't hit me because I didn't feel anything. But just, it was the punch that caught me out. But with the power, no, it was, it was heavier. It's about God, Jesus Christ, coming to my life, man. For me, just giving over and surrendering. You know, you guys, are, I don't know, some of y'all, man, are like, what are you talking about? Surrendering, just giving him my life and just being devoted to him and just saying, Father, use me, work me, you know what I'm saying? And you know, let me be a light to shine to other people to show to show to show them the real. And he did it. And we here right now, champion of the world. I mean, what's right. the Yeah, now. Come on. Do I have to get your emotions in the drink after the knockdown that was scored against you? Nah, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, I, I mean... You seem emotional. Nah, yeah, yeah, you know, just for a second. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we all get a little emotion for a second, you know what I'm saying? I remember when, you, when you're coming out of a hostile environment, you know, it, you, you can go back to it real quick, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I bounced back real quick. I, you know, I, I was more astonished. I was like, hey, what you mean? Okay, cool, okay, ain't nothing. I get back, I get that back, and I just relax. And when out there, champ said, don't worry about that. That ain't, that ain't nothing, that happened. The boy, listen, that's nothing. That's just one point. We talked about this in camp. He said, that's just one point. If you go down, that's one point. A knockdown is one point. You can get that back, that's nothing. It's all right, cool. So I sat down, my father, and my, you know, and Pernell, and my uncle told me, relax, breathe. Breathe, 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 relax, and go back and get it again. And that's what I did. Did Pernell teach you as much philosophy as he did boxing? That's what you sound like. Yeah, definitely. I mean, well, listen, I mean, you want to call me philosopher, I feel like this. It's a legend, Hall of Famer, six-time champion of the world, one of the best defensive fighters in the game, a scientist. <laughs> so I just want to tell y'all, what I did for six weeks, seven weeks, was I went to college. And guess what, guys? I got a PhD, baby. <laughs> I mean, was it because he scored the knockdown in the fourth round and kind of forced him to let your hands go? No, no, no. I, I mean, he was putting. That wasn't a knockdown, but he was putting a lot of pressure. <laughs> nah, that wasn't pressure. That wasn't pressure. Nah, that wasn't pressure. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't pressure. That was. That's you see, that was. What is that? That's like, that's not punching. I don't know about that. This championship. He never, he never hurt you. This cha she's championship boxing. It's championship boxing. It's championship boxing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The guy nobody seems to want to talk about in your division is the guy you took the last time out. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted. Lucas Matisse, you see, I told y'all, he came back and he dismantled uh, Chop Chop Coley. Chop Chop Coley is a good fighter. He went 12 rounds with me. He hurt Mayweather, went 12 rounds with Mayweather, and Lucas Matisse knocked him out eight times in, in eight rounds. I mean, I told y'all, keep, keep your eye on him. Now he got Devin Alexander. Watch what he's gonna do with the boy. Watch, watch, watch. I mean, I mean, that game over there, we passed that. We did that, but after he do some more stuff, then I, I want y'all to go back and give me some credit. Like, you know, <laughs> Zap did, Zap did, Zap, Zap gave him that first W. I mean, that first L, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> the only L he got. <clears throat>
Obama teams where you give them a rematch. For what? If you got the title. For what? 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 For what